I'm happy to share with you some of my experience uh, from a clinical practice on immediate skin-to-skin -skin contact directly after birth for all babies and mother-newborn couplet care. And this is a way to keep mothers and infants always together. This is Benjamin, born in week 32 of Vaginal, and he's put immediately skin-to-skin -skin with his mother. A nasal CPAP is used directly. He gets a warm wool blanket, a sensor, and electrodes monitoring pulse oximetry. And after 25 minutes, a nasogastric tube was placed, still on his mother. First meal of seven milliliters was given, and his mother expressed a small amount of colostrum, which Benjamin got in his mouth. At two hours, a peripheral line was put, and a glucose infusion started. Benjamin was transferred to the NICU, still in skin-to-skin -skin position with his mother. And here you see him at seven hours, still in skin-to-skin -skin contact with his mother. And here is a busy picture of a busy um, situation. So we are expecting a small baby below 1,000 gram uh, to be born with a cesarean. The aunt is prepared, the sister of the mother is prepared to be a skin-to-skin -skin, uh, surrogate. And we have a well-prepared well pre uh, team. And as you see here, we use long cables and long CPAP tubing to be able to reach both the skin-to-skin -skin place and the heater or, or, or an incubator. And all other equipment is as usual. We have our mobile equipment with all the equipment needed for a preterm baby to be born. We do as ordinary routines with leg cord clamping if the baby is vital. We use plastic wrap if the baby is expected to be small. We have a well-prepared midwife. She does a quick assessment that she sees no major anomalies and she reports vital signs. She puts the baby prone high up on the father's or surrogate's chest. We put the CPAP and all the other care that is needed. So the place is different, care is the same. The NG tube and the peripheral line is put. And this small baby is in a safe and secure place with her father in a skin-to-skin -skin position. Safe and secure, being on a kissing distance where the father can actually kiss her on the head. And she's in a sniffing position with this nose, with her nose slightly upwards. And we have a visible, we can visible assess her face and mouth, one hand, at least one hand and the fingers to see that she's all right. With this mobile equipment, we can quickly and easily gather the family again. And this little girl, Liv, is only 15 minutes old and she's reunited with her mother, who is actually still on the operating table um, for her cesarean. This is also possible for twins. Uh, twin one is taken to the father or the other parent because there's no room on the mother. She's still in delivery of twin two and the obstetrical, need, uh, obstetrical team need, uh, need to, to care for her and, and twin two. So team one takes care of twin one on the father and team two takes care of twin two that comes up to the mother. There's a lot of equipment, double of everything. And it's a bit crowded. And this incredible mother, she, started to hand express milk and she uh, got an amazing amount of 20 milliliters of colostrum, 10, I've never seen that much, 10 ml for each of her babies that was given orally. And at two hours of age, they were put to the father for transfer to the NICU. And shortly afterwards, the mother. This is what a transfer can look like with our mobile equipment. When the mother comes to the ICU, the baby uh, and ICU, the, the baby is of course uh, moved to the mother instead of the father. 
And this is where the mother newborn couplet care comes in. We need that to be able to give zero separation. We couple the care of the baby with the care of the mother. The sick, prematurely born or low birth weight baby and the mother needing medical care of her own are cared for together as a diet from the birth of the baby to its discharge. And requirements for implementation of couple care would be large family rooms with hospital beds, emergency equipment for mothers, midwife and obstetric, obstetrician always available, and education for nurses and doctors in the NICU for safe care of mothers since they are actually physically in the NICU, and our architecture for accessibility for comfortable care for both mothers and babies. And we would then, if we have the mother actually there in the NICU, and hopefully the father too, as we often have in Sweden, at least, we can, uh, they can offer their baby continuous skin-to-skin -skin contact, or KMC. So this is Benjamin again, and he does phototherapy and metabolic screening and all the rest of it in a skin-to-skin -skin position. And during the first seven days of his life, he spent in total eight hours in his bed. It's very recommendable to have some kind of baby wearing equipment like this so that the mother can walk about and move in the unit when the baby is stable enough. And here she's in the kitchen meeting the rest of the family and actually this preterm, uh, pre prematurely born uh, sibling. I gathered some evidence for you here if you watch this uh, in retrospect. Uh, so this is the IKMC study that WHO published in May this year. We have the EPISA study from where you have, you, I have all my pictures and the mother newborn caplet care review that we put together earlier this year. I recommend the training video for the IKMC study. And if you're interested in watching my pictures more, you have a full workshop of 54 minutes on this subject on the YouTube. Thank you.